Welcome back. Everything on your Christmas list can be checked off with just a click of the mouse or by grabbing the stuff seconds before that big beefy guy. But believe it or not, more people still brave the crowds than surf the web at home. A lot more. To help us understand why, I'm joined by Sean White of Keynote, a company that advises executives about their websites, and Thomas Harpointer from AIS Media. Sean, first of all to you, you have a mobile and website measurement company. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Thomas, uh, you have, um, uh, what's the outlook from, from you for uh, this uh, online shopping season? Well, this year we are seeing a lot of activity online. Uh, this morning, uh, we are seeing a lot of major online retailers who have done a good job in preparing for the online flex of, of millions of users hitting their website. But at the same yes. time, we are seeing some online retailers who probably should have prepared a little bit more than they did. Okay, Sean White, let me ask you this. You, you run a, a, a mobile... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting you mixed up. Now, Sean, you just answered my question because you run a company that measures website performance and you're telling me the exact performance as you've just seen it today. Let me go to Thomas Harpointer with a more general question. Where do you see online shopping going this holiday season? Well, we see shopping this year as the very best year ever. Um, it's expected to exceed over $30 billion in online revenue and customers are driven to stores as a result of uh, what they see on the internet. So it's not only based on what people are buying online, but the merchants that are reaching out to customers and getting those customers into the store are also benefiting from the internet this year. But Thomas, if I'm not mistaken, less than 5% of total retail sales are conducted online these days. That's a very, very small proportion. Why such a small proportion after all these years of online experience? Well, people are still cautious, and the biggest concern consumers will have around the holidays is whether or not they're going to receive the products that they order in time for the holidays. So it's up to the merchants to convince those customers that they're uh, making a wise decision. Return policies, uh, privacy policies, and prompt shipping are very important for consumers. Yeah, that's what people uh, are concerned about, getting stuff on time, preferably with free shipping, even gift wrapping thrown in, and mm -hmm. a reliable return policy, are you telling me that online retailers have largely fixed the problems of the past? They haven't entirely fixed them, but we've come in a very, very long way. Um, every year we learn a little bit more about what drives consumer behavior, what makes them buy, and in our experience and having worked with thousands of businesses since 97, um, there has been substantial growth and the retailers are learning from those previous mistakes and they're improving customer confidence. Sean White, back to you. Now you run a mobile website measurement company, okay, and you're in a position to offer up to the minute uh, measurements of a website's performance as of right now compared to a That's year right. ago. Repeat for me if you would, what exactly are you seeing right now? Well, what we're seeing right now are a lot of online retailers. Uh, the performance and availability of some of those sites are, are maintaining. They've, they've planned uh, months and months in advance, uh, expecting millions of sites hitting their, or millions of users hitting their websites. But we've seen some very high-profile websites starting to take almost a nosedive. Um, for example, uh, we see here uh, buy.com uh, starting at 5.30 Pacific time. So right when people are waking up, looking online to, to uh, get the, the hot deals on this particular website, performance spiked five, six, uh, seven seconds um, over what they've normally ex uh, experiencing. Hold uh, on a second, websites... I've, got to, I've got to interrupt. When you say performance spiked five, six, seven seconds over, what exactly does, it, does that mean the website's crashing or what? They, some, in some instances, they are crashing outright. In other situations, a user sitting there, they click the buy button, they're looking for the particular uh, item that they're interested in, and they're sitting and they're waiting. Does, they're that waiting that they're they were, does that mean they were not expecting that level of traffic or they hadn't prepared properly? And probably in many cases, it's both. A lot of these online retailers have put a lot of emphasis this year, specifically this year, on doing what they're called doorbuster uh, deals online. Um, uh, very similar to last year, uh, Amazon.com uh, had a deal with the Xbox 360. And right, right when uh, that deal went off, their site um, performed uh, poorly for a while. This year, we're not seeing that. Amazon.com did a very good job this year in anticipating 
the huge amounts of traffic that their site was was expecting on uh, Black Friday today. Thomas, this is not all good news for generally on-time retailing if some of these sites are crashing on Black Friday. Well, it's, 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 a, it's good news uh, considering that the number of customers that are looking to buy online has increased. Um, if anything, it's a good problem for the retailers. Nobody wants their website to crash, but it's an indicator that people are looking to buy online and the retailers are doing a better job than ever in driving that traffic. Okay, a preview please for Cyber Monday, which I believe is Monday of next week. Sean, you first, if I may. Yeah, so Cyber Monday, online retailers have, are taking, uh, picking up from where uh, Black Friday uh, left off and are doing some major online pushes uh, during the week of uh, uh, you know, next Monday through Friday. Um, and we are seeing some online retailers providing excellent deals. Uh, and if early indications are, are um, you're going to predict what's going to happen next week, some of these online retailers are doing a pretty good job on, on meeting those expectations. Well, and combined, I believe a lot of these. Gentlemen, maybe you're going to push me into the online market this year. <laughs> we shall see. All right, Thomas and Sean, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. My pleasure.